Welcome to Valheim's Tips and Tricks. Today, we're going to take a look at the terrifying sea serpent which I'm sure has been responsible for a number of fresh pairs of pants. But never fear, today we're going to learn how to make easy work of the sea serpent even as a solo. Now either the longship or the carve will work fine for this. Don't bother with the raft unless you like being eaten. But before you just start bowing the sea serpent down, there is one piece of advice you must heed. And that simply is, don't kill the sea serpent in water. Why not, I hear you ask? Well, as with any heavy items dropped into water, they will sink to the bottom, and the same applies to the sea serpent's much desired loot. Or more specifically, the serpent scales, which you will need if you want to craft the serpent scale shield, one of, if not the best shield in game. If the serpent meat is all you desire, then go to town and kill him in water. So, how do we kill the sea serpent on land then? Well, you need to get yourself an abyssal harpoon which you can craft from chitin. Chitin is something you obtain from the leviathan, which I've covered in another video, please see the description box below for a link to that. Now, the general concept is harpoon the sea serpent and drag it onto land where you kill it, but it's not always that simple. So the first thing I would advise is burn his health down with your bow in the water so when you get him to land he's a quick kill. The second thing I would advise is make sure you've got a good stamina pool as unless you fall into the water you won't be taking any damage from him. Once you've harpooned the sea serpent, take your time dragging him to land as you can lose him if you try and drag him too quickly. But it can also destroy your boat if you take too long. The second you get to land, drag it in a fair distance, but be mindful of your stamina and don't sprint as you have no stamina recovery while you're dragging it. Once you've found a good place, start killing him instantly with melee weapons. Swords seem to work the best. If you're playing solo, try and drag him through other mobs as they'll start killing him for you, as the second you switch from your harpoon to your melee weapon, he will instantly start trying to make his way back into water. If the sea serpent does make it back to water, just go after it again with your harpoon and drag it back to land again. When it dies, collect your rewards, and you can use its scales to craft one of the best shields in game, and use its meat to make one of the best foods in game. And there we have it, you're now the master of the sea serpent. Now I hope you found this useful, and if you did please hit that thumbs up, and if you're interested in any more of my content, please don't forget to subscribe.